Hi, in this video we're going through how to build CJ's bank with early money in the definitive edition of GTA San Andreas. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. San Andreas certainly made some waves in its day and with the definitive edition re-release it's time to catch up with CJ, Smoke, Ryder, Kendall and the rest of the Grove Street crew. So in this video we'll be looking at how to build CJ's bank with early money in the definitive edition of GTA San Andreas. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel we do how-to guides, news and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ring the bell to stay up to date. A quick spoiler alert here, this will give away some gameplay mechanics and maybe one minor surprise. Now setting this up does take a while, in fact you will need a bit of patience, it will take a solid full day of real world gameplay to get this rolling. But if you do it right, you'll set CJ up for the rest of the game, plus you walk away with a boatload and I mean a boatload of extra ammo and some great weapons to boot. So really worth the effort. Accessing the easiest way to make a passive income in the game is pretty straightforward. In fact, all you have to do is follow the storyline for a few missions and it will unlock itself. The trick is to know which missions to do in order to unlock it earlier so you have more time to build CJ's bank before it's taken away. So after a few missions, you'll end up kicking around with sweet. What we want to do is go through all of the sweet missions you can and just the sweet missions. So that'll take you all the way through through until you meet Caesar. Then we want to stop with that storyline. After that, jump over to Big Smoke to do one mission with him where we pick up OG Loke. And then we want to do two OG Loke missions. So that's the one where we pop down to the beach and the other one where we raid Mad Dog's house. So after that, you get a call from one of Tenpenny's sidekicks which will introduce the crash storyline and we want to do that one. After you've done one crash mission, Sweet will open back up again and we need to do one more of Sweet's mission and then that unlocks the gang territory wars. Each territory you successfully control earns passive income for CJ. So the trick is to take over every territory on the map, and this might take a minute, before continuing with anything else. Once you've done all of the territories, and this is really important, you need to stop doing the sweep missions. You can pick up with Smoke, Ryder, Loke, Caesar, but do not do any of the sweep missions until you've cleared the entire map. And even then, go hunting for flowers or gang tags to eke out your time, or even uh, camp at Grove Street and go AFK for a while. And why do I say to do this? Well, two sweet missions later, after the end of the Green Sabre, you'll lose all the income from your gang territories until you complete the main quest line. So no more money. But if you're a bit patient and like to spend a bit of time in the game, then you can have some serious cash by the time it comes to that. Like serious cash. Also, one other quick early money tip. If you see these guys, the dealers, anywhere at all, anywhere in the game, take them out. They often carry around about two grand. So every single one that you take out nets you an extra $2,000, possibly a weapon, and you're cleaning up the streets of Los Santos. So it's a win for everyone. And thanks for watching. Check out the video up the top on how to access early weapons or the one down the bottom for some more old grumpy gummy goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.